G'day guys, I'm Matt from KCK Lubricants and today I'm just going to do a quick video on DOT5 brake fluid. Now DOT5 brake fluid is full silicon base. Developed by General Electric in the 1960s for motorsport use, but never worked out. It, it wasn't the product they were hoping for. Now what sets it apart from all the other brake fluids is its silicon base. Generally purple in colour, this is its blessing but also its downfall. Being silicon based, it's non-hydroscopic. So it doesn't have that tendency to absorb moisture and lower its boiling point and cause the issues that we see in other brake fluids. But what that also does, instead of absorbing the moisture in the brake fluid, it will sit in the bottom of the caliper or sit in the bottom of the master cylinder and cause localized corrosion. Dry boiling point as a minimum, 260 degrees C and wet to 180 degrees C which is fantastic it does not mix being silicon base does not mix with any of the other dot brake fluids dot three dot four or even dot 5.1 but probably the biggest downfall for the silicon base is under heat it creates its own little air bubbles and gives the driver a, a, a bad pedal feel or, or a mushy pedal or a spongy pedal basically impossible to get rid of and it's a um inherent issue of the dot fire brake fluid and that's why it's seldom used in motorsport best use these days is for recreational use or use in um, arctic climates very very cold um, it's very suitable for that but for hot or heavy duty or extreme conditions not suitable whatsoever dot fire brake fluid a quick video just a rundown i hope that was helpful if it was give us a thumbs up any suggestions on future content, leave a comment below. We will be checking it. Make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching.